Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back. And uh, I mentioned in my last video that if you guys wanted to see a stats and combat record video that I would make one if you wanted one. And lo and behold, somebody in the comments section said that that would be really cool. So without further ado, let's do this. Um, first and foremost, uh, I play this game 98% of the time solo and I only play free for all and team deathmatch. So um, just wanted to get that out of the way real quick before we got into everything. So... Here we go. Um, 2.06 KD, 2.41 win loss, and a score per minute at 371. Um, I guess it's all right. Not that stats matter too much anyway. But um, let's get into this. Uh, weapons KN44, my favorite, hands down, very versatile, VMP. Um, again, you know, if you run into tryhards, you can't go wrong with this weapon. Man of War, hated it in the beginning, love it now. <laughs> Uh, Cuda, uh, no grip necessary. Solid iron sights, can't go wrong with it. Uh, Weevil, uh, if you're accurate with this gun, it will serve you well. It's, I personally think it's well balanced. Uh, Razorback, picking people off with this submachine gun definitely works. Um, putting iron sights on it really makes a difference because its rate of fire is really slow. So if you're looking to drop people faster with this gun, can't go wrong with rapid fire. Uh, HVK, um, they nerfed it by adding more recoil, but you just slap on grip on it and uh, it's back to the way you know it. Not too bad of a gun. Um, Pharaoh, if you're able to center your shots before aiming down sights, uh, you're going to melt people with this. <laughs> Strafe shooting isn't going to work as, as, as nearly as effective, but if you're able to lock uh, to snap on the target really well, this gun is definitely really, really good. Uh, ICR, uh, if you're having trouble with accuracy, you can't go wrong with this weapon right here. Uh, very solid. Um, not strong though, so you can't rush. This is more of a pick people off weapon than it is a rush weapon. Vesper, the ultimate rushing weapon. Um, haven't been using it as much up until recently, but uh, I don't know, I just have to be in the mood for it because this gun just shreds, like shreds with a capital S. Um, and this is pretty much all I use. Um, I've been giving the other weapons a lot more love. As a matter of fact, I haven't really used this weapon until recently. Uh, I just got in the mood for it. <laughs> after uh, after using it a few times, I was like, yeah, no wonder I was using this weapon so much. <laughs> it's um, uh, In the beginning of this game, I was really, really struggling so much. Um, but now that things have definitely changed as I've gotten to know the game better, uh, it's it's a lot more fun using different weapons. And, and you know, Treyarch does a good job of, of balancing weapons out and using many of them. So uh, specialists, kinetic armor, my favorite, hands down, especially as of recently, you just go into a room full of campers or whatnot, or if let's say you're on a streak and somebody's in front of you, we just, you know, hit the two bumpers and the next thing you know, you know, you've got a fighting chance of taking out multiple people uh, and winning fair gunfights. Um, War Machine, Vision Pulse, Tempest, you can just pause the screen right here. Don't want to go too much into that because uh, I've already done a few takes of this video before and the video ended up being way, way too long, so... Uh, but if you guys do have any questions, you can leave them down in the uh, in the comments section or whatnot, and I will answer them. And if the question is uh, requires a long answer, who knows? I might even make a video on it. So that's it for specialists. Uh, score streaks. This one right here, uh, the most important score streak in the game, in my opinion. If you're capable of getting it, you should always be running it, at least in my opinion. So UAV counter UAV and uh, a whole bunch of these other little things. Uh, if I feel like if I feel like getting you know, high body counts, I'll use these two and these two right here. Uh, combining these two is really, really good. But in Team Deathmatch, they're a little bit more hard to come by. So if you're running combat focus, it can be a little bit easier. But uh, for the most part, I use non-lethals and I just like to get kills with my gun. And along with kinetic armor, uh, you can get that multiple times and you can just go on tears with it, especially if you have the capability of doing so. Um, let's see here. Uh, ah, game modes. Uh, Played a ton of free-for-all trying to get the uh, calling card that you guys see on the right, the top right. Um, but uh, ever since they buffed uh, Team Deathmatch up to uh, 100, I've been playing nothing but that recently and uh, I don't see myself straying away from it. Any objective game mode, uh, I go for the win and I play the objective uh, too hard I guess and uh, I don't kill enough and I end up paying the price for it. And uh, on top of that I play solo so in objective game modes you're going to run into full teams. <laughs> It's different when you're just focusing on slang as opposed to the objective as well. 
And if I'm gonna play the object, if I'm gonna play objective game boat based game modes, I'm gonna go for the objective. I'm not gonna be a kill whore. Um, although I have done it a few times and it's uh, quite easy actually, but it's I don't know for some reason for me it's just not as satisfying as it is in team deathmatch. But I guess that's just me. And uh, the way the matchmaking works in this game, a 1.8 win loss for a team deathmatch is uh, pretty damn good in my opinion. Um, and uh, my goal is to see if I can get this to a 2.5. If I can get this to a 2.5, I'd be happy. Uh, Win-loss is the only stat that matters, if anything. That and accuracy, are, in my opinion, are the two stats that truly matter. Um, leaderboards, uh, career. Um, this is my overall. Played a crap ton of this game already, but it's a lot of fun, and I like it, so I play it. Here's the monthly, so you can see the difference in improvement. And uh, I check this just to see if I'm doing better or worse, so that way I can just tell myself and think about it like hey what are you doing wrong you know uh, i won't alter my gameplay style from rushing to camping to up my stats I, that's just no <laughs> that's just wrong i just uh i just like to play the game and have fun and run around as much as i can and kill as much people as i can and try to die the least as the least that i can at the same time so um that's team deathmatch the monthly here is the all time and free for all that's all time and this is monthly um so, uh, so if I had any goals as far as my combat record is concerned, I'd want like the KD ratio doesn't mean as much, but I'm sure I can get it to a to a 2.5 or maybe even a three by the time I'd hit max level. Granted, I even hit max level because it takes a lot of time, but uh, I know I can get the win loss to a three, um, and I know I can get the score per minute to a 450. And again, keep in mind I play solo and I play team deathmatch and free-for-all so uh, getting your score permitted higher in in those game modes is uh is tougher uh win loss yes my win loss is as high as it is because i played a ton of free-for-all um it would probably be at a 1.8 if i just played team deathmatch and uh, that's definitely fine with me um i don't i don't cherry pick lobbies i don't i don't do any of that kind of stuff i know a lot of people out there do but that's just not me i just play from one game to the next to the next to the next um, let's see here, uh, medals, I'm sure you guys want to see this, uh, I could have gotten a few more nuclears, but, uh, I play too aggressively and I end up getting swarmed, like one off a nuclear, so, in Team Deathmatch it's happened more than once, and it sucked, but hey, it is what it is, it happens, I really don't go for nuclears, uh, because it requires you to play slightly more passive, uh, for them, especially when you get to a certain point, and I really don't want to do that for the most part. If I realize that I'm getting close, I might slow down a bit, obviously, you know. But for the most part, I don't go in a game thinking, oh, I need a nuclear. You know, the only time I did that was when I was going for the free-for-all nuked out. And actually, even when that came, when, when I ended up getting it, it happened... Um, it actually kind of happened out of nowhere. And I wasn't expecting for it to happen, especially if you guys watched the video and what I had to go through to get it. You know, somebody called in a Wraith and a Raps, and, you know, in the end I almost died, and Kinetic Armor saved me. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that is that is pretty much it, guys. I didn't, I ran through this a little bit quicker than I would have liked, but I didn't want the video to be ridiculously long. My first few takes of this, uh, of this video, uh, the video was, like, 25 minutes long, and I'm, I didn't want, I didn't want that. I just, you know, I wanted to keep it short, simple, and basic, um classes would end up I'd have to explain a little bit more so I didn't want to I didn't want to do that but basically long story short as far as classes are concerned uh, since I play team deathmatch and free-for-all it's just basically uh, dead silence awareness and fast hands for the most part and uh, guns and attachments that's it no lethals no tacticals um, but if you guys want to see that uh, I'll make another video on that if you guys want that but I just don't want my I just don't like my videos running for more than you know 10 minutes or whatnot but I think that is pretty much it as far as the combat record is concerned. Um, here's the calling cards real quick. Just pause the video if there's anything specific that you guys want to see. That's pretty much it, I think. Uh, almost done. And black market. And that's it. 
So uh, that'll do it for the combat record video. We're about 10 minutes here, uh, maybe 11 by the time this video is completely done. But um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any um, any questions or any comments, please leave them down in the comments section below. Um, and uh, if the question if the question has one of those answers that are a little bit long and take explaining to do, then I'll even make another video on it if uh, if necessary. But um, again, feel free to use the comment section and I will reply. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for the kind comments on uh, on some of my previous videos. It's uh, definitely motivating, definitely awesome. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.